Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back for another In the Hunt, this time at the Hard Off in Hachioji, Tokyo. Let's get things underway here at the showcase in the junk section. And this case was actually、uh, loaded with some exotic hardware and a lot of common hardware, but a lot of, a lot of cool and interesting stuff. And we're going to start right at the top. We have this color TV game. That, that thing looks pretty old school for 5,500 yen. Next to what I believe is a, a Mega Drive joystick, and then we have a, a few PlayStation VR headsets. I imagine those things are going to be littering the junk sections in the next few years. But here we have a PC engine for 8,800 yen next to a Duo for 16,500 yen. And、um, the little tags there just kind of give a description of what they did to test it. Sometimes it's untested,、uh, a lot of times they do test it and it won't power on, or it will power on. and... It won't load a game、uh, and all sorts of stuff. But here we have a Famicom networking system. That thing is actually pretty cool looking.、Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what it does, but they do have it. We had an Xbox One there and then a Switch. And then next to that, we have this the PC Engine CD ROM ROM for 9,900 yen. And I believe that one,、uh, the disc is not spinning, but although it's nice,、uh, not really discolored. Not really sure what this that epic thing or epoch thing was, but here we have a, a quite a bit of PlayStation 2 Slims. Look at them, they're just kind of just stacked, ready to go. And then down below, or what do we have here?、Uh, a PS1 for 6,600 yen, and then down below we have a Panasonic MSX2 for 27,500 yen. Then we have some controllers, and then we have this Sega Mega S 01. And I believe this one gives you like an S video out connection as well as stereo, but I could be wrong. And then more controllers, and then look at all these PlayStation 4 or you know, these DualShock 4 controllers. Look at all that. Now, a lot of these again are not working, and you know, junk, cons junk consoles is something that I've been buying more of recently and just kind of learning how, how it goes. And it can be quite a, bit,、uh, quite a bit difficult to get some of this hardware back up and running, especially if you're a beginner like myself. But it is kind of a, a rewarding and learning,、uh, a great learning experience. But here we have a bunch of handhelds. We got like the Game Watch stuff,、uh, the, the early, early stuff up at the top. And some of those are actually quite expensive. I think in the back there was one for 22,000 yen. And then here we have some floppies, but I'm not really sure what's on those. And then this looks like it's a Mega Drive game for 19,800 yen. Could be something else, but.、Uh, and then here we have, what is this?、Uh, by Tomy, Alien Chase, 6,600 yen. And then a number of PlayStation Vitas. Look at that. Some of them are as low as、uh, 1,650. My goodness. Oh man, that, that light blue one there, or that really light colored one, 3,300 yen. That thing was mean looking. And then a couple of PlayStation Vitas. The one in the back is 5,500 yen. And sometimes they put the stuff in here because it's the console only and there's nothing to charge it and they have no real way of uh, confirming uh, the operation as they write. And then here we have more handhelds and the Nintendo varieties. A lot of great stuff in here. I do like that original、uh, Nintendo DS、uh, clamshell one. That was my first DS and it's great. And then we have a, a PC Engine GT for 27,500 yen. My goodness,、uh, that thing looks pretty cool. And then uh, some, Game Boy, uh, some Game Boys of different varieties. We got a color, a light, and not sure what that in the back is. And then a few Wonder Swans. And next to that, Game Gears. Now, I would like to get a Game Gear, but I hear these have a, a pretty high failure rate due to, the, due to poor、uh, capacitors. But still, I, I still would like one. Again, I used to have one back,、uh, back when I was younger. And then down below, just a, a variety of software. Some of it seems to be、uh, from different regions. Always nice to see. I've seen that game before at a different hard off. And、uh, it was just as expensive. And then here we have Toomba. Oh, wow. I, I totally.、Uh, so busy filming, I, I didn't realize they had a, a copy of Toomba in there. I don't think I've ever actually seen Toomba.、Uh, But kind of nice that they have that there. And then we have、uh, what, Bayonetta 2 for the, for the Wii U for 1320. But let's go into the, the junk section proper outside of the cases and into the stacks. And look at this console graveyard. Quite a bit of,、uh, 
quite a bit of hardware. And if you're, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to get into repairs, this is like a great way to do it. Uh, currently myself, I'm working on a Sega Mega CD, so expect a video on that soon. Can't wait to get that thing up and running, but look at that, a PlayStation 3 that has PS2 backwards compatibility. Some Wii, uh, Wii U game pads for as low as 900 yen before tax. And then here we have the actual consoles for 1980 and 4980, my goodness. And then here is the main aisle for the junk section. Look at all these bins just loaded. Consoles, software, all sorts of good stuff. And I actually, I, I actually do uh, like to browse this section because, uh, you know, this is where I get uh, like memory cards. Let's take a look at some memory cards. And I like, I like buying these memory cards because I'm trying to collect all the, all the colors for like the PlayStation 1. The official released uh, PlayStation memory cards that are just kind of like translucent. And sometimes it's pretty fun to see uh, the saves that are on there, especially if it's a game that I own and I play. I can kind of compare, uh, <laughs> compare like high scores and see what, what things are unlocked from the previous owners or owner. Got some PlayStation 2 and pretty inexpensive, you know, 500 yen for PS2 memory cards and GameCube. Uh, look at this, they even have the clear cases for about 55 yen. PlayStation 1 memory cards were coming in at about 300 yen. A lot of good stuff here we have some famicom loose cards some game boy cards and looks like they have another memory card just kind of thrown in there thrown in there what else do we got oh look at all this hardware a lot of playstation one which is a testament of how much that thing sold as well as the super famicom this is a straight console graveyard but you know a lot of this stuff sometimes does work it's just like in poor shape poor condition and they do have a testing station so you can usually find the cables. The cables are usually at the testing station, so you can just find the one that you like if it's a specific model or if it's in a specific cosmetic condition, and you can test it out. And sometimes they even have televisions, so you could even uh, pop in a game or whatever. Then up top, we have a couple of Saturn racing wheels, some flight sticks. Uh, what else do we have up here? We have a Virtua stick, and then we have... Then we have another fight stick there that looks like for the, for the Super Famicom. And all the, those Taiko drums, uh, another uh, PlayStation or a PlayStation racing wheel, and Blue Dragon for the Xbox 360. Now this could be missing some things, which is why it's in the junk section. And then all sorts of software. And a lot of it, as you can see, is coming in at 110 yen. And that includes PlayStation 1, the Wii, PS2, we got some hardware here. Uh, actually, I was gonna browse that section, but it looks like there was a couple other game hunters that kind of beat me, beat me to the section, <laughs> and they're deep in there. Always nice to see others, kind of browsing the junk. And then here we have a PlayStation One RF adapter in the box. So if you're uh, a person that likes to collect this kind of stuff, don't rule out the junk section. Now controllers, I also buy a lot of controllers. Now when I buy them here, I actually take them all apart and I wash them because you just don't know where these controllers have been and, and sometimes they're a little bit uh, a little bit nasty to be honest. But sometimes you just find one that's pretty cool. And, and look at this, some cleaning fluid for the Wii. I'm not really sure what that is. But look at this, this TV is freaking awesome. Coming in at 198,000 yen. Now, it looks like it's a 1986 vintage, and it's a Sony Trinitron. Look at this bad boy. And look, th on the side, it has some speakers that pop out. Man, this thing actually, uh, it weighed quite a bit. I'm not really sure, but I was trying to like, uh, just kind of trying to move it, and that thing was not budging. But man, that thing is freaking awesome. And then up above that, look at all these uh, retro PC uh, CRT monitors I really like this one this uh, 16,500 yen that's like super retro as well as this NEC one but they actually had a really cool one which is this FM Towns uh, CRT monitor coming in at 27,500 yen and then we're just going to show a quick close-up of the connector here on the back Look at that. And the condition on that thing looks pretty nice. And next to that, we have some Sharp X68000 computers. Never actually seen uh, so many in one place. Now, these things are actually quite pricey, as you can see, but they seem to have like all like the all the major models. They had the compact, the original, 
the super and then the pro next to that look at the, the pros a freaking monster and the condition on these are, are are pretty good since these are just like in the regular uh regular aisles you know all of these are actually functioning and here it just kind of gives you an explanation of what's included and uh you know all all sorts of other information but as you can see cosmetically these things are in freaking awesome condition and i actually spent a little bit of time uh looking at these as i would love one of these things but uh, man the, the price is uh is, is pretty expensive and i can't really justify it because there's not really a lot of software that that i would even uh play on these things but definitely a, a collector's uh showpiece these look at the compact one this is probably i imagine like the the newest uh, the newest one what's the 1992 and look at that it has all your connections these things are freaking awesome but yeah this monitor i was so thinking about this but quite a ways away from uh from where i live and uh to haul this thing i wasn't actually uh driving today but if i was who who knows that thing could be in the game room by now but very cool to see this piece of hardware and actually it's, it's, it's pretty cool to see a lot of this uh old uh pc hardware down in the bottom look at this thing this sharp uh, mz808 and look at that look at the look at the keyboard colors on this stuff and these things are freaking monsters <laughs> the movement that one that one has like the the subtitle of the movement but I, I wonder what kind of software like this stuff plays like i wonder how much uh, how many games are available for all these uh older um pcs look at those things those things are huge but anyhow let's go ahead and make our way down um the other uh hardware aisle a lot of controllers down on this section a lot of cables and a lot of clone systems some of these clone systems have some funky designs and some of them i hear are actually pretty good and then here there's a quite a number of uh of a uh, uh, super scopes i used to have one of these way back in the day and it's been years since i've played one usually you can find those in the junk section and they're usually untested and they do require quite a bit of batteries i don't know like six or eight which is kind of which is kind of crazy but look at all this look at all these funky controllers i do like seeing some of these they're just so like uh just so wild looking and then a number of n64 and a few uh other nintendo controllers i think those are wii u gamecube uh controllers and then down on the other side a lot more hardware look at this we got a dreamcast racing wheel coming in at 3,000 yen i believe that was and just oodles and oodles of fight sticks oh man i i, I have a uh, i have a decent collection of joysticks and uh it's always nice to see more although these these uh virtuous sticks are actually uh they're not very good and those are the ones that we got in north america but they're not very good compared to to the other offerings out there but a lot of a lot of great arcade sticks look at all this stuff i do want this one that virtual fighter uh, stick with the three buttons because i love playing virtual fighter and it just makes a lot of sense although it is bulky and space is limited here in uh, japan and look at this the train controller always funny to see that and then then we have this real arcade pro 2 which has a, a really nice look to it and then we have another rf uh, adapter this time for the sega saturn in the box look at that they had quite a bit of cables i think the most interesting one was this one which is uh the av multi out on each end because sony released a few televisions that actually had the multi the multi-in connection on the tv so it was straight a straight connection and i hear that it rivals uh scart i almost got i almost actually got one of those tvs but i was a little bit late uh somebody was giving one away online and i just responded a, a little bit too late and here we have a surround sound uh, system for the PlayStation 3. We'll have a look at that. And I think that was a GameCube uh, keyboard, keyboard, which is freaking huge down there on the bottom. But look at this uh, sound bar for the PS3 coming in at 6,600 yen by Sony. And I bet you that thing sounds pretty good. Although it is big, nice uh, bulky. And then we have the HD uh, DVD player coming in at 3,300 yen. And look at this can this uh, this remote totally has the vibes of the xbox og dvd remote although that's uh that's one for playstation and then here we're gonna look at the hardware this is like the main hardware section 
at this uh, hard off in Hachioji. A lot of great stuff here. And we'll start here with these Panasonic FZ1s. We got one uh, loose for 11,000, 22,000 for the one in the box. And then up above that, we have some Sega Saturns, Famicom. They pretty much had it all. Uh, well, not all, but they had a, a really great uh, selection of stuff. And look at this, the Wii's 2,000 yen, or the Wii U, excuse me. And 7,700 for the Mega Drive. Usually you could find those a little bit cheaper. And then we got this transparent N64 at 11,000. That thing is freaking awesome looking. As well as this one for 8,800 yen. And then they have another one for about uh, 1,000 yen more. 1,100. And then we have some Sega Saturns. But next to the Sega Saturn, we had this beast. Look at this. A Linux kit PlayStation 2. I have no idea what this is. I haven't actually seen it before. But 99,000 yen. This thing was pretty... Uh, well, I wish I could have seen it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this thing is like sealed. Um... I know that they put the plastic around it sealed, but I don't know what the, what the deal with it is. But pretty freaking awesome looking. I thought this was going to be something as just as exotic, but I think this is a uh, this is just a VR headset that's just kind of missing like the the blue uh, the blue wrapping. But yeah, that thing that Linux uh, PlayStation Two that thing was kind of awesome looking. At least not awesome looking because we didn't see it, but the the fact that it's there, you all know what I mean. And then we have a Wii U up top. What else do we have? A PC Engine, a Famicom. And they also had a number of PlayStation 3s. All sorts of stuff. And look at this one. This one looks like to be like a, a limited edition. A Final Fantasy 7 uh, something. Probably has a cool design. And then Super Famicoms, uh, the disc system. 360s which we saw what else do we have here this disk system um, and I believe that thing works if it's a uh, if it made it this far to this uh, to this shelf this aisle it, it pretty much uh, is guaranteed to work and I believe some of the stuff sometimes the price varies because you get a little bit longer uh, warranty period sometimes it's a month sometimes it's three months and then look at all these Sega Dreamcast I would take this one with the Millennium controller why not for 7,700 yen. And then there's a, a number of PlayStation 3s, which we'll take a look at, that actually have a PlayStation 2 uh, support. You know, they, they have that playback. But they have, they have a number of PlayStation 3 fats. Look at all that. Man, the PlayStation 3 was an awesome system. So good. And then up above, at the very top, we got some PS4 Pros. And then we got a PlayStation 5 coming in at 96,800 yen. But guys, for the next episode, we just took a look at some hardware. And the next one, we're going to be all about the software and some more hardware. As you can see, look at all those cases that we're going to take a look at. So keep tuned. Anyhow, my name is JJ. See you soon. Ciao.